Hello guys, this is video demo of NetStumbler or Network Stumbler. Network Stumbler is basically a Windows based device which detects IEEE 802.11 based access points. The main use of NetStumbler is for war driving through Windows. If we want to find out the APs, their configuration, their exact details like what is the SSID, what is the MAC address, what is the channel on which operating, what speeds it supports, what is IP address, what is net marks and so on, all such information, then NetStumbler is the best tool. You can call it as a counterpart of AeroDumpNG or counterpart of Kismet in Windows. Let's see first the interface of Network Stumbler. The current screen shows the interface of Network Stumbler. It has divided the, it has divided the screen into two parts. The right part shows the details about the AP's configuration. First, let's see the details, which all information we can able to see. First column is the MAC address, the MAC address of the access point. It also lists the ad hoc connection. So we should say a MAC address information of access point that is infrastructure as well as ad hoc that is IBSS connections. Second column shows the SSID. It shows the SSID used by that device. Third is name if we have assigned some name. Next column is channel. The channel information is shown. Speed, speed which that access points support the maximum speed actually shown 54 means it has to be either G or A uh, next column and 11 means it has to be B next column shows the vendor now this vendor information is found from the first three octets of the MAC address so it compares first three octets of the MAC address with its database and if it finds some match then that particular vendor vendor is displayed now, NetStumbler is not very much updated regularly, so the list of vendor uh, octets is not up to date. So we are not able to find out the vendor for many APs, for Cisco, Nokia, Netgear we have able to find out but not for all. Next column shows the type, whether it is a access point or ad hoc, for ad hoc it will show peer. In my current uh, location, there are only access points present, no ad hoc connections are present, so I am only able to see AP. Next column shows the encryption. Now, the bad news is it shows always encryption as web. It cannot parse the WP and WPA2 things. It calls those connections as also as web. So, web means encryption is applied, but web does not mean it is actually web encryption is used. It can be WPA or it can be WPA2 as well. SNR signal to noise ratio in, is shown in next column. The next column to SNR is the signal. The signal strength in DBM is shown. Next column is noise, noise in DBM. Next column is SNR plus. It shows again signal to noise ratio. Next column is IP address. If AP is open AP and network stumbler sees any IP address, that particular IP address of the AP will be shown. Sub similarly, subnet mask will be shown. If we are using GPS, then the latitude and longitude for that access point are also shown if we have configured GPS to the connection. Next column shows the first seen time, the time at which AP was discovered at the first. Next column shows the last seen time, the AP, the AP's beacon or till what time the AP was active. Next column shows the signal, noise. Now, next column shows the flags. Flags information is actually part of AP's beacon. After 802.11 header, the next fixed header in beacon information is two byte flags. It, uh, it actually shows whether AP is uh, supporting short preamble, 
whether AP is encrypted AP and so on. So all that information is actually part of these flags and the next column shows the beacon interval for the AP. Generally all APs will be operating in 100 millisecond as the beacon interval and next column shows the distance. If we have actually configured the GPS the distance does matter otherwise distance column will not be showing anything. That's all about the right part of the net stumbler which shows the details of the AP.